Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel Ray and it's good to see you. It's good to have you. Hope you're having an amazingly wonderful, beautiful day. And I have this package that I am irking to open, although I know what's in it. I just am very impatient. I was going to wait. I was going to go ahead and wait until the beauty room was ready, but I'm still painting. We're still in the process of painting it. So we've only got one coat down and we have another one going to go down probably hopefully tomorrow, but it's cold. The weather's cold right now, so it's kind of hard to paint it. I hope y'all are doing amazing. I miss you guys so, so much. And I'm so ready to get back into the groove of making content, creating content for you guys. And I have a lot planned for this year. And I'm excited to get my beauty room done. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have a vision. I have a vision. Hopefully it comes up to par. And But I'm super excited and I'm so impatient. But I'm like... I really need to get this, I really want to get this undone so I can put it in my collection so I can start um, testing the products and playing with the products because when I come back, I'm going to have a lot of reviews to tell you guys and a lot of things that I've tried. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I have been actually working on my collection for luxury makeup. Um, I do a lot of drugstore here on my channel, but I also want to, I also want to start reviewing luxury makeup so I want to do both um I don't want to stray off of drugstore at the same time but I also don't want to stay away from luxury you know because um every I feel like every woman deserves to try a luxury product and I'm buying and reviewing for you guys so that I can tell you my opinions and if you trust my opinions then then you'll have another Another viewing point is what I'm trying to get to. So I did order this off of a friend of mine, Sylvia. I've actually, I met her on Facebook. So she actually has a store and there's a couple things that I do buy off of her from her, her store, like her storefront website, which I will be posting down below in the description. So please go check out her store. She does, she sells um, like candle warmers. She uh, makes the wax tarts. They're all 100% soy. So there's nothing in there that's like, um, that's going to harm your lungs and stuff like that. So a lot of the candles that we buy have, um, like the tar and the black smoke and, and a lot of chemicals inside of them. So they have a lot of fillers and stuff. Well, these that she makes, she hand makes them and she's has, oh man, she has tons and tons of scents of wax tarts and candles. And she also sells bath bombs. She sells bath bombs, but her most, the ones that I buy the most are um, her soaps. My husband loves her bar soap. So the bar soap she uses are all natural. They're all 100% natural. And the one I'm using, I, the one that I have him, I think it's sandalwood. I don't know. We'll see when we get into the box. But um, as I was saying, I've purchased these bars of soaps over and over and over again for my husband specifically. I don't use them because I'm so stuck on a specific soap that I buy at Walmart and it's actually natural as well. I can't wait to tell you guys about everything that I've been testing and I've been emptying. So I want to go through my empties with you guys. I am still working on it, but I'm so excited to bring content to you guys. I, you don't even know. I know I'm making this video a little bit long, but it's because I miss you guys and I really want to come back on and I... I, my husband got me a new ring light, so I don't know if you can see. Um, hopefully, I will learn how to work with it. I just set it up. I actually just unboxed it. I think he got it for me maybe about two weeks ago, and I still hadn't unboxed it. Because, but I got my box in, and I really wanted to open it with you guys. I have um, missed one unboxing with you from her. I Like I told you guys before, I buy from her because she does a lot of makeup. She does a lot of beauty, like... Um, she has a Facebook group on Facebook and um, she goes live every so often, like every week and she'll do the weekend and she'll go like four days straight. And so I'm one of her biggest supporters. Like I love her. She's amazing and she's beautiful. I, I can't get enough of her. She's so sweet um, and I'm thankful to have her in my life. And um, so I, I support her and I, I buy stuff off of her and, and it's a lot of luxury products that she does get in. And she gets them at a discounted price and then she sells them at a discounted price. 
so she goes in the middle the middle of her discounted price and then retail so i i meet in the middle so she's able to make a profit and i'm also getting a discount as well because i'm not paying retail price so a lot of the products that I've been purchasing from her are really high in retail and I get at least $15 to $20 off of each product. So I'm so excited, you guys, that I want to get into this box. I want to get into this box. I won't be able to tell you what I paid for them because I'm using my phone right now. If I would have brought the other phone, then it would have been different. But she also sent me some masks. So I don't know if she's doing the kids mask, but I know on her website she does um, adult mask. And oh my gosh, she has so many beautiful ones, you guys. I love them. Well, she sent me some freebie ones because I had asked her about some kids ones. And I guess she's, she wasn't going to restock on kids anytime soon. Hopefully she will. And if she does, I'll let you guys know. And um, But she sent me these. I don't know if these will fit. Oh, look, they will. I was kind of worried that they weren't going to fit like an adult, thinking that it was for just for kids. But it has these adjustable little um, little divots here, so you're able to adjust them. So, ooh, I'm so excited because I can use them too. What do you think? This is what it looks like. I don't know what it has on it. Like, there's like a little bird there. There's flowers really really cute and then she sent me this one i think they're like under ten dollars this one this one's perfect for easter this one has bunny ears and it has clouds that is so cute but she sent them for my boys but some of them my boys will use them i'll use the rest of the other ones but here's this one i'm gonna ask her if she will restock again on kids because these are great quality um it doesn't have on there but it's all the inside has this little pocket so if you wanted to put um like i don't know what they're called to put in there then you would be able to and then they're washable this is great quality too so it's not like cheap material it's actually really good material so we have this one with kitties and little flowers. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of these. Oh look, and here's... Oh, my boys are going to love these. Ah, they're little crocodiles or alligators. These are so cute, you guys. Oh, look, my, my oldest boy is going to love these. Whoa, my six-year-old. This one has dinosaurs, it has like a pink dinosaur, it has like a lava mountain, little trees. That is so cute. I'm so excited. Look at my hair. This one, I have a couple more. This one has like a bear, a lion, a bunny, like a deer. These are cute. And then this one has little kitties. I might give this one to my mom. I have one in here for me that I actually um, ordered, that I actually paid for. This one. This one has more dinosaurs on it. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And the last one is going to be like tigers and, is it tigers and cats? Something like that. So, so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for my waist to wear these. I'm so excited. So we got those. And I love the way she packages you guys because she always packages me with peanuts. And my little boy actually loves, my six year old loves the peanuts because he found out that if you wet them, they become sticky. So he likes to build things with them. And she always sends me a card. She always sends everybody a card. My card just says, love you kind of hard to see because it's white on white but yeah it says a little note of thanks that is so adorable she always writes her notes like handwritten and it really just does bring a touch to your customers and between the seller because even before I became really close with her 
she still would send you know her thank you cards and how she appreciates her customers and I am so grateful that I found her you guys because I'm able to get goodies and I'm able to I built a relationship with her and I'm able to get goodies for my channel and not have to spend so much money because it is ridiculous out there drugstore is going up high which I don't mind but the luxury makeup is what I feel like I really want to review luxury makeup on here you guys so that way you don't have to spend so much money on makeup that you probably won't even use or you'll use one time like I want to be able to enjoy give you my reviews give you my thoughts so that you can take my my review and really think about it if it's something that you are interested in investing in because I mean it's a lot for everybody who works for their money and they work hard for their money especially in this in this time right now you know with the pandemic and everything to be able to go purchase things and then not enjoy something that you really spent so much money on you know so I, I love this you guys okay so here's the soaps I don't know where's the other one uh oh I'm gonna get everywhere these are the soaps Oh, it's the Dead Sea mud, mud Scrub. This has like little scrubbies in there. And so this is a handmade cold press soap. This has notes. It's like musky, earthy fragrance with amber and green based notes. It contains activated charcoal, sea salt, various clays as exfoliants. My husband goes to town on this. He's, like every time I buy from her, <laughs> I always get him two, at least two soaps. But he's been going through them a lot. Um, but it gives me an excuse, right, to get a, a package sent to me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm so excited because my mask came in. You know that I freaking adore purple. Like, I love, love purple. Purple is my favorite color. <sighs> you guys, are you ready? It's purple. I need to... Sorry about Cocoa Melon, you guys. Y'all already know. If you're new here, I do not own rights to Cocoa Melon, but my kid is constantly watching Cocoa Melon. I don't know how it's going to come off, if it's going to show, but it's like an iridescent purple mask. And I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. It has the iridescence to it. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Okay, you guys. We're not even through mid of this box. Okay, what can I get? Oh my gosh, you guys, you're going to be so excited for this one. So, I did a thing. And this is the thing that I did. I went and got the Tatcha. I, okay, so I actually really do adore the Tatcha rice water, which is in the purple container like this. It's so good, and I swear it leaves like... I have combination skin, you guys. I have like normal to oily skin and like in the T-zone, I have like oily skin more in my nose than anything, but I fell in love with it. Like just the way it's like a luxury, like I don't even know how to say it. It's a whole experience. It's a whole vibe. It's, it's a whole vibe to um, experience Tatcha, especially this cream, the cream. I have experienced this cream through Ipsy. I was introduced to this through Ipsy. And I don't know, they sent something. Like a complimentary use of, you, reusable cloth wrap. But for what? This is so pretty. And it's purple, you guys, OMG. So it's purple. That is gorgeous. I wonder if I can use it like as a, you know what I mean? Oh, I can. I'm so excited. The baby's gonna start crying. Okay. This retails for $72. It retails for $72. I wanna say I paid $54. If I'm not mistaken, I'd be 54. So, I'm so excited. The 
products are cold. I've been waiting on this package all day. I've actually been waiting on it for days. But, I don't know. It got stuck in Jersey. And I guess with the weather, because right now the weather is like crazy. Oh, I love it. It's I wasn't expecting it to be glass. And the, the component itself is glass. So, and then I learned that this top little spoon, this little decoration, comes off and you're able to use it as your little spoon instead of putting your fingers in there you don't have to put your fingers in there so as you open it it has the little uh oh <gasps> Ugh, yes so excited and there it goes oh you guys i love this especially be like prepping the skin before um makeup oh my gosh this is amazing so I'm so excited to have this because I actually, I'm almost done. I have the sample, the little sample size, and I'm almost done. And I need another the face wash because I'm almost done with my Sunday, Sunday Riley. It's the ceramic slip. I actually really love it. The only thing that I have a problem, slight problem with is it doesn't suds up the way I want it to suds up. My all-time favorite is by Pharmacy, and it's the Clean Bee Cleanser. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The only thing is it does kind of, it feels like it strips my skin, but it's because it gets all the oils out of my nose. And I've, I've done a review on my Instagram, and that's another thing, you guys, I want to start doing Instagram Reels, and I want to do TikToks. Like, I, I really want to get into this this year. I really want to go hard. I really want to push my channel and get to a thousand subscribers because right now I'm very, very low. But because I haven't dedicated myself, you guys, and it's been hard, you know, the last couple of years with the kids and, you know, my pregnancies and then the loss that I had and then with my sister-in-law. It's just been a lot. It's been very rough on, on the whole family and I just really haven't put dedication into my channel. So I'm really excited to start changing my journey and really going hard for you guys because I, I really want to put everything into my channel and I really want to go hard this year. So this is the Deep Clean Cleanse by Tatcha. I have not tried this one yet. This one's Balancing and Exfoliating Cleanser Clarifying Japanese, um, Japanese Lufa Fruit Extract. So I'm excited to try that. And then they also gave us like a little sample of the Sil Silk Peony. I want to call it peony, but people call it peony, peony, peony. I, the way it's spelled, it says peony to me. So P-E-O-N-Y. And this is a, oh, it's an eye cream. You guys, I didn't know it was an eye cream. I'm going to feel so bougie putting fancy eye cream on. Oh, I'm so excited. I think as long as she's in business, I will continue to support her, honestly. Okay, the next thing you guys, I have tried this. I've tried sample sizes. I've never owned the full size, but I got this on a deal too. And I got two of them. So this retails for $42 and I want to say I paid 28, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have tried this. I do know that this has alcohol in it, but you guys know I'm a diehard Milani make it last. These were a part actually the oh I can't stand that paper. But the Tatcha and the Urban Decay and the next one that I'm gonna come in, they all came out during Christmas. So during Christmas, um they come out with a lot of bundles. I don't know how to call them. I guess they're like little bundles. They're like gifts. Um <laughs> I lost my words. But they come like like little sets in other words so I got two of these a full size of this right here retails for $32 by itself and the fact that I paid not even the retail of it of $42 I, I swear I paid like I think I paid 28 I think I paid 28 honestly I paid 28 for this I'm trying to remember because I've looked at the I've looked at my <clears throat> my invoice that's another thing she's so in she's so organized she invoices you um with everything on there 
I feel like it's like, um, <sighs> you guys. So I think I've smelled this particular bum bum cream one time in a store in the Sephora store. I, I haven't even tried a sample size, but everybody talks about this, that it is so good. And I think the honest to God truth is that whenever I smelt it, it smelled like butterscotch to me in a way. But I decided to go ahead and commit and get me a full size. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I am the type of person that loves to slather herself inside cream lotion as soon as I get out of the bath like oh I just love it oh the packaging feels so luxurious this is what it looks like this is by Sol de Janeiro is how it's pronounced everybody calls it Sol de Janeiro and uh, so it's infused with all powerful guarana extract it's fast absorbing body cream it helps visibly tighten the appearance of skin um this was made in the USA. It says, love it, flaunt it, you got it. So excited to smell. So it has the little, the little protector. I need to get used to having a ring light, you guys, because um, the ring light that I had is not as powerful as this one. So as I was saying, hubby decided to get me, oh my gosh, it's so thick. Ooh. Oh. Mm. My hands are so dry, you guys. It's ridiculous how dry my skin is. Oh, and it's so cold. Oh. Mm. I think hubby's going to like this one because it's not too intense. And a lot of my lotions are from like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secrets. And so they are intense with a lot of perfume. And, um... And it messes with his, um, like his sinuses. So he's always like complaining. <laughs> yeah. I know he's watching because he does support my channel, you guys. He is my number one supporter. Like he, as soon as I make a video, you guys, he's already on it watching my videos. So I love you, baby. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, but back to what I was saying. I think, I think he's, it's not going to mind, like he's not going to mind it because it's so subtle, but it's so like luxurious, like a. Uh, I don't know. I can't explain it. I honestly felt like it was going to be more intense. Um, more intense is what I was expecting. So, but it smells really, really good. I'm sure it'll smell way more whenever I put it all over my body, which I'm so excited for. I love lotions, you guys. So, that's in the box. Let's see. What else do we got? Oh, yes, I ordered wax tarts. I have bought the Avo Bath. I've bought the Cedarwood. I've bought, I bought multiples, and I continue to buy um, wax tarts. So I have two wax warmers in my home. I want to purchase another one, and especially from her. She has a lot of different wax warmers, so please go check out her site. Um, I'm going to leave it down in the description, so please don't forget to go check it out. But she does have wax warmers, and some of them have fans. So the wax melt sits in the middle and then around the like the ceramic there's like a little fan so it pushes up the, the scent which i really want to get one so that's going to be in my next haul not my next haul but the next next like the second next haul because i'm constantly working on my on my inventory so i'm constantly ordering so soon i want to start um i want to start doing this like start putting it on my income tax like claiming it because this is this is going to be it's like a business so i'm investing and it's a part of my channel and eventually it will be that big i know it will like i'm speaking that into existence that my channel is going to go somewhere i believe that and i believe that for myself i believe that for you guys i don't know if i'll ever make it to 100,000 subscribers but that doesn't matter it just matters that i have loyal subscribers that are here and here for the long run so so this is the pine cones and amber and 
it smells so good it smells cozy like it, it does smell like you're outside in the in the pine trees and you get a whiff of amber oh it smells so good like i'm not i'm not too big on florally like okay like i like floral to a certain extent like i like jasmine um cherry blossom but as far as fruity okay i don't like fruity like in my candles or my wax tarts, I don't like fruity. In my perfumes, um, I'm like iffy, iffy. Um, but if I need to show you my collection in my Victoria's Secret and my Bath and Body collection, so that just brings me to remind me that I need to start doing a calendar. So whenever I put my calendar, I can start scheduling my videos and I can put like which videos, baby. <laughs> That way, whenever I'm doing my scheduling, then I can schedule for, like, each video that I'm going to do. So, like, if I want to do, like, a Bath & Body Works or a fragrance haul or show you my collection because I do want to start decluttering. So, once I do get in the beauty room, I do actually want to start decluttering. And I want to start going through my, in, like, my collection because I do have a lot of, a lot in my collection. I also have a lot that I don't go through that I want to start pulling out and rotating. And it's kind of hard now because I feel like I'm claustrophobic right now um, because I'm in, I'm in my bedroom, you know. My bedroom is, um, I have like my bedroom and then I have like my vanity. So my vanity is right here and then my bed is behind and then my restrooms are here. And then of course in front of my vanity is the front, like the door to my room. And then, so it's just a whole different kind of vibe. So once we get into the beauty room, I'm so excited because we're going to have plenty of room, plenty of room to grow, which I'm super excited for. I'm sorry for the interruption. It kind of like, I used to not be like that. I used to not be um, nervous. I wouldn't get nervous around my husband. Like my husband would be in the room and I would, I would film all the time. But then I got very, very, um, like I would get nervous because I stopped doing it and I would do it when he was at work. So I got so comfortable being by myself and doing it by myself that I just, so then when he's in the room or when he walks in, like I get kind of like, like I choke up. I don't know. It's crazy. But anyways, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? <laughs> oh yes. About scheduling. Like I want to get myself a calendar so that we can start, so I can start scheduling all my videos ahead of time. Because, like I said, we're going to go hard this year. I'm really super excited, especially with the room. Um, I have some goals. I have some goals. I have a lot of goals. So we have another goodie. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? It still goes on. So another thing that I picked up was the Fenty Beauty by Brianna. So I've never tried her gloss bombs. And I was really excited to try her gloss bombs. Um... So, as you guys know that I do, like I said, I do a lot of drugstore. And so, my drugstore dupe for this is by the Maybelline. It's the Lifter Gloss. Those are so good. And they're so, like, they're not too thick. But they they're just have the perfect consistency. And so, I really want to try these out so that I can see for myself if the hype is like everybody says. You know what I mean? And so, I got these, like I said, um, I didn't pay full price for these either. So this is in the shade Champ Stamp Fantasy. And this is so beautiful. Like I'm going to have to show you without this because I know that it's going to mess with the lighting. But this has like a champagne peachy. Um, kind of has like a little bit of gold. Yes, it does have gold flecks. Once I have my room, we're going to have more lighting. So lighting from the top, lighting in the back. So we'll have more lighting for details, like the very tiny details. But there's the doe foot. The doe foot is kind of, it's kind of thick. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch the color. So it has like a peach tint to it. It's very beautiful. And these aren't full size. So these are like deluxe sizes, but. I don't mind. Oh, there's three there's there's three different ones. So here's this one. This one's in the shade Hot Chocolate Fantasy. And this one's more of a chocolate brown. I think it has like kind of like a 
like a maroon iridescent um, glitter in there so you can see the flakes in there that it has that um, it actually has a gold like it has like a shift so that like, I see gold I see a maroon and I see like a bit of green in there so we're gonna go ahead and swatch that one I honestly you guys I'm gonna give you my honest to God um, reviews I prefer the Maybelline lifter glosses 100% because I could feel I can feel the glitter flex and my the one that I buy from like the drugstore like I said the Maybelline one you don't feel the, the I feel like the glitter specs are more fine and the formula is a little bit thicker it's not sticky because I do not like sticky and I do not like goopy but I can feel the flex in it and I don't really like that but I'm totally going to use them um but I, I prefer to put this over a lip, like over a lipstick or a liquid lip because I can feel the glitters, which I'm kind of upset about because I was expecting more. My expectations were higher for these. So if you've been interested in the Fenty lip glosses, I don't recommend them. For me, I don't recommend them. I honestly recommend the Maybelline Lifter glosses. My favorite shade is Stone, which I actually need to get another one because I'm already almost out. But this is the shade Fenty Glow Fantasy. And this one's like an orange terracotta. Um, this one has the same. It has like um, bronze, a little bit of green. It does have like an iridescent um, glitter to it. I don't know if it's going to catch on camera. So it does have that one. And then it came with a full size cream. So this one I'm expecting hopefully that this one's better because I won't feel the glitter particles. Oh my gosh, I need a napkin. I should have came with a rag, like a towel, but I didn't. Okay. Oh, did I show you this swatch? Oh my gosh, you guys. Tell me, I'm failing you. <laughs> okay. I'm disappointed in the formula. I am because I expected way more for the hype that this gets. Everybody's about the Fenty glosses, the Fenty glosses, and oh, they're so good. If you like that kind of texture, like if you like that thing, like you like to go for texture, like you can feel the glitter on your lips, then then that's for you. But for me personally, I don't like it. Okay, so the terracotta ones is right here. The bronze one. So we have the pink one up top. The peachy one, it's not pink. And then we have the bronze one second and then we have the orange terracotta last i know i'm not looking at the camera right now you guys i'm sorry but those are our swatches for those and then the next and last one is the fenty cream so this is the shade candy milk oh my gosh i'm so excited for this one i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm praying that i'm hoping that this one was worth it I really am so this one's a cream it's not a gloss so it's a cream I don't know if it's like a it's I don't know if it's a hybrid between lip gloss and the cream but I'm assuming it's gonna be like a suede cream like the next like the next suede cream this is what I'm expecting out of this formula so we shall see okay so it's very opaque it's not like too opaque, but I actually, actually really do like the opaqueness. I do. So here we go, you guys. Let's pray. You can tell the difference between my light color and the color. What do we think about the color? I actually really do like the color. I, I do like the color. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I need to try those Fenty Gloss lips. Maybe I need to try the lip balms again with my lips exfoliated. And then I'll come back and give you another review. I'll give you a follow-up review. The, the cream is a little bit thin. It's not too thick. It is kind of thin. 
I don't, but then again, I don't know if I have residual lip, like, lip glitter on my, like, lip glitter. Oh my gosh, Jesus, help me. <laughs> I don't know if I have residual glitter on my lips from the lip glosses because I didn't properly wipe my lips because I didn't have a makeup wipe or, like, a makeup remover. No business. But anyways, I do like this lip one. I, I prefer this one over the lip glosses. 100%. I do. You see, but my Maybelline... <laughs> you guys, I'm not going to stop hyping up Maybelline. Those lifter glosses are amazing. If you've not tried the Maybelline lifter glosses, oh my gosh. It is the best 8 to $9 that you will ever pay in a lip gloss. Amazing. It's not sticky. The formula is amazing. And it's not gloppy. But, okay. I do like that one. Just them lip glosses. I don't know about those lip glosses, you guys. I'm going to have to keep testing them, and I'll let you know later on what I think, what I'm going to review. So, I don't know if there's more. There has to be more. Yeah. What am I talking about? Yes. And I think there should be one more in here. Yeah. It's like I'm digging in a... Well, I am digging in a mystery box, pretty much. But I already knew what was in here, but... I guess I kind of, like, forgot... Okay, the second to the last is the, well, that are in there without, not in this little package right here. Okay, <clears throat> is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo for the perfect makeup every day and on the go. So these are travel sizes. This is, <clears throat> this, this is a new release. So you are going to actually see in my upcoming, um, videos that I have purchased a lot of new stuff that launched during 2021 um, in the ending. So from mid-2021 is when I started collecting my luxury. And so a lot of it is new launches. So I'm not... Some of them I am picking up from like a couple of years ago because I'm very interested in formulas. I'm very interested in um, learning more. This is why I this is why I wanted to do this, you guys. This is why I wanted to purchase luxury makeup so that I can review it and give you my opinions from drugstore to luxury. Is the luxury actually really worth the hype? Is it better than drugstore? Like that's the whole thing. Um, I really wanted to try this one because I hear really good reviews on it and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush um, Flawless Setting Spray Duo. So I'm really excited about this one because. This one is like a hairspray for your face. I'm not gonna lie. It is. Which I'm excited to try and give my review to see if it's better than the Make It Last by Milani. You guys, I'm so excited. Um, I don't, it's stuck in there. But the claims on here is primes and sets for up to 16 hours. No melting, no fading, no creasing. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, I have one more in here. Where did it go? I'm having to dig, you guys. It's so funny. Okay. This is the It's So Good To Be Bad. This is the Good Girl by Carolina Carolina Herrera, New York. Why did I say it like that? It's Carolina Herrera, um, New York. So this is a perfume. I have smelled this one time. And it's actually the perfume that is in the, like, the little stiletto heels. And this is actually the original one, which was, like, the blue casing. So they have, like, a blue casing one, and then they have a red casing, and I think they have a black one. It smells so good. So this is what the actual, I'm sorry you guys, I didn't even show you the component. I didn't show you the box. So the component is actually blue, which is kind of hard to see, but it's blue. And the casing, the outer box is like this. I don't know if it's going to be able to show you. Okay. Because sometimes it'll glare with the particular packaging. And this is the front of it. Okay. So this gives me like sophistication this gives me like it's not too intense but it does it is intense to like a seductive way it smells amazing I wish that I can I that's another thing I want to bring to my channel is perfumes I know my husband has a, a fit about it 
but since I'm having my own beauty room, I think I'll be able to get away with it because I'll be able to air out in my room. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> I'll be able to air out in my room because usually we're out the door and I'm like, Pfft. by the time I get in the car, it's still heavily scented on me. So he's like, Pfft. with his head hurting and everything. So I'm excited. I got some plans going, you guys. We're going to get into this. The way I'm looking at it is I'm going to... So I co-sleep. A lot of you know that I have the nursing baby. I'm actually trying to stop. I actually want to stop nursing him. He's already 15 months. And I want to stop nursing. I'm ready to stop. I know he's not ready to stop. And a part of me feels bad. But I gave him my body for 15 months. And I'm ready to have it back. Um, some people want to do it longer. That's you know that's up to you if that's your choice and your decision and your journey then that's you but for me i'm ready to stop because i feel like i'm held down on a lot of things you know at nighttime like i can't escape like i want to escape because he wants to be on me and so me co-sleeping with him it's been hard because like i said back again with the beauty room i'm able to move my stuff out of my room like my beauty area and have my own room for it and then put him in his own bed um i can't open this what the heck is going on um so that i can start sleep training him already into his own bed so i'm kind of sad about that part honestly because i love having him near me oh my gosh i always have problems trying to open something <laughs> anyways yeah so that's going to be where I'm going to start sleep training him to be in his own bed. Um, then I want to start, I want to start exercising again. So I had started, I want to say around like in November, no, like around October because that's when I lost my sister-in-law and I felt like that was the way to cope. And I was going through a lot emotionally in the house wise, you know, because my husband was going through a lot, you know, emotionally and I felt... I had a lot going on like feelings myself you know and I don't talk to a lot of people like I I have friends but I'm very I feel like I'm very introverted like I'm, I'm a homebody I love to be at home and I don't get to talk to people like I don't have a specific friend where I can call and say hey you know what this is going on so I keep it bottled inside of me and I don't I don't talk to my husband you know and so I kept it up inside of me and so when I was feeling angry or upset I decided to go outside and go and start walking so I started walking and I was doing really good I was doing 50 laps around so we live on about an acre an acre and a half maybe two acres and so in the front of my like my driveway there's like an O um, and so I'm able to walk around it so I got up to 50 laps a day and so I would do that every night. So I would actually put baby in the stroller and I would go. But then I stopped. You know, Christmas came around and I just, I went through emotion, you know, and I stopped and I stopped. So I want to get back into that. So my, my priority and my, my goal is to start getting up in the morning, like at 5 o'clock in the morning, go outside, go do my run, exercise, come in, take a shower, and then go put the camera up and start filming to get ready for the day and that that time at the same time I'm creating content so that's what my goal is and that's why I'm excited to get the beauty room done as fast as I can but I want to start getting into a groove already like I want to start you know so that's my plan and I'm so excited to start doing this okay so I did a thing <laughs> I did a thing so I own one palette from Charlotte Tilbury and it's one of her old, like one of her older ones. Um, I couldn't even tell you right now off the top of my mind what year it came out, but I've been so curious about her formula that I seen this one. So she has the newest one that came out is her smoky, smoky eyes are forever. If I'm not mistaken. And so it's the black packaging and this one is last year's if not the year before and this one is the starry eyes to hypnotize so 
This is the packaging. It is navy blue. Oh my gosh. You guys, when you get your hands on luxury products, like the feeling of them, the way they feel. If you don't know this about me, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of drugstore. But the one thing that I invest in is my eyeshadow palettes. I, I just... I... I do do like, I wouldn't say it's drugstore. I mean, ColourPop is in the middle. So ColourPop, you can buy a nine pint pan palette for like 12 to $14. And ColourPop is really, really good. But to me, that's drugstore. So, because I don't go buy Milani eyeshadows. I don't go buy CoverGirl eyeshadows. I don't go buy L'Oreal. You know, I don't even know if L'Oreal, I'm pretty, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that they do. But that's besides the point. Wet n Wild, like, Yes, I've tried the formulas, but to me, to me, I love eyeshadows. That's the one thing about me that I adore the most out of everything. So if that means I'm going to spend money on eyeshadows, I am going to spend money. The most expensive eyeshadow that I palette that I own right now is $80 and it's in this box. Yeah. And recently I've gotten to not Natasha Denona and her palettes are $65 a piece. Do I regret buying them? No, because I love them. And I've done reviews. I've did my first impressions with you guys. And I'm so excited to when I go through my collection to show, to tell you my thoughts. And you guys, ugh, it's a vibe. Anyways, so I decided to get me a Charlotte Tilbury palette. Now she has quads and her quads retail for about $55. This palette right here retails for $75. Did I pay $75? No. If I'm not mistaken, I paid $52 for it. Yeah, $52, $54. But that is a big discount for $75 palette, you guys. If you can pick up these on, on a sale, like I highly recommend it. Oh my gosh. You guys, look. Oh, she's so blue and sparkly. Look at all of that detail. It's absolutely gorgeous. The glitter on here is um, some of it. Well, it is raised so it's the glitter does not it does not come off but oh my gosh i wish we were in the studio already because if we were in the beauty room you'd be able to pick up on this beautifulness it's absolutely gorgeous so she she's a makeup artist so charlotte tilbury is a makeup artist and she like she design shimmers to go on the lids so a lot of us have seen that oh you need a transition shade you need a matte shade to be to do a transition you guys when i tell you that i started using charlotte tilbury when i introduced myself to charlotte tilbury and her like her glitters and her satins and and started putting them in my crease oh my gosh you have no idea so oh this is beautiful and she gives you a guide in in and an easy step to do this. So, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to try to show you. Look at that. What drew me to this palette right here is greens and these blues right here. So, I've actually became a very big fan of neutrals. Like, I love neutral palettes. Like, um, when I show you my collection, you're going to know. But, in colors, like, look at those shades. So she designs her palettes in like one, two, three. So you're going to start off with this one all over the lid. Then you're going to put this one in your crease. And then you're going to darken it with this one. The same goes for each trio through here. The same thing. You're going to put it on your lid. You're going to darken it. Or you can put this in your inner corner, put this on the lid, and then darken it right here. So you can put this in the inner corner or you can put it all over the lid, deepen it with this, and then deepen it even further with this one. So I love the way she creates her palettes because she gives you a guide so if you're looking at it as a beginner and you're like what the heck do i do like where do i go this right here is she she is amazing especially for mature lids i highly recommend charlotte tilbury like no lie um like i said i have one other palette from her which i cannot think of it right now of the name of it but i'm so excited to review this for you guys i don't want to touch it because i want to do pictures or my Instagram but we will do a review I promise I will do a review for you guys and a part of me wants to touch it but I'm not gonna touch it I'm gonna wait for the beauty room to be done and then I will do a review for you guys so 
then I'm gonna save the last two eyeshadow palettes for last okay but I'm gonna go into the Dior backstage face and body powder no powder so I do not own Dior this is the first product that I purchased from Dior like that I have of Dior in my whole entire collection um, and I watched Samantha March I love Samantha March <laughs> I love her quirkiness, her giddiness, and I just love her. And she goes through this so often. Mm, it kind of looks dark, but we won't be able to tell until it's on the skin. So this is in three neutral. So you use this to set your powder, like to set your foundation. Oh, I'm so excited. I kind of want to swatch it, but then I don't want to swatch it because I got to do pictures. And that's another thing I want to start dedicating myself to doing is doing pictures of my products that I get in because I have been so bad at that. Because I'm so, how do you say it? Impatient. Like that I want to hurry up and touch it. Like I want to do the swatches on myself and that's another thing I really need to stop. So, okay. This is another product from Hourglass. You guys know that I have, I think, have I showed you guys? The last unboxing that I did with you, did I do the Hourglass with you? So anyways, I I got introduced to Hourglass and I've fallen head over heels over Hourglass. Like if you have mature skin, I highly recommend it. But if you like to glow and you like your skin to glow, Hourglass is amazing. Their blushes are amazing. They're pigmented. They have like a radiance to them. They do have like a shimmer in there. There's not like thick glitter, but it just like the most beautiful thing i i couldn't explain it until i able to show you and hopefully i will be able to show you soon i'm thinking with the ring light i'll be able to bring down my brightness and i'll be able to show you what it looks like of course with filming and with ring lights and cameras it's kind of hard to give you an, an initial true 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 um view of it but i don't want to be one of those type of girls that puts filters on her face like look i have like i'm broken out the whole point of this, of doing makeup and, you know, reviewing makeup is, is it going to cover that? Is it going to cover our scarring? Is it going to cover our acne? Is it going to cover our dark spots? Like, that's the whole point of makeup. And it drives me crazy when I see somebody, especially somebody that I've been following for many, 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 many years already. And I find out, like, now, like, of course, back in time, she wasn't. I'm not going to name her. But back in time she wasn't she wasn't doing filters on her face because you could see her acne you can see it but now she's starting to put filters on her face and it's like like it kind of pulls me away like it pulls me away because i feel like you're not being honest you're not being honest to your to your viewers to your subscribers anymore like you're you're lying you're hiding that's how i feel and it really hit me personal you know when she when i found that out when i seen it when i actually paid attention to the video so that is one thing I will not be doing on my channel is putting filters on my face. So, I know sometimes the ring light will wash out your face. And I understand that. But I don't ever want to hide behind a filter and not be honest to you guys. Like, that's not my plan. My plan is to be 100% transparent and honest with you guys. So, anyways, let me go ahead and get into this lap. <sighs> I'm getting off track. But anyways, man, you guys, I really want to swatch this stuff. But I'm not. Okay, so this is the Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in Dim Light. So I do own one of these. I own one of these, and the one I own is in, um, oh my gosh, I cannot think of the, I don't know, but I own one of these. And this is where I fell in love with, with Hourglass, is by this little mini, because this is a mini. They have full size, and the minis are 28. Yeah. I think they're 28 and I pay like 16 to 18 dollars a piece for one but anyways this little thing is like an edit for your face the the radiance it gives your face it's so beautiful like it's like um you your face glimmers like it just in in the sunlight it it gives you like of course you're gonna sparkle but it's not like glitter that is like where it's gonna be all over your face like falling all over your face like this melts into your skin and it's so beautiful like if you've never tried a like a finishing powder like these are used to do 
to finish your face. These are used so after you've put your foundation on, you've done your blush, you've done your bronzer, you've already buffed everything into your skin, then you go over this with this and you buff it into your skin and then you set it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this leaves your face so freaking beautiful. Like you will be like, oh my gosh, I've been missing this all this time. Like where the heck have I been at that I was like not in this millennium because I missed out on this. This is how I felt whenever I I got a taste of this and I was like, oh my gosh, like upset with myself that I hadn't tried Hourglass. But of course, I couldn't at that time, you know what I mean? Because financially, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go spend $28 on a freaking mini like this. Like, that's ridiculous. But you guys, if you've never tried Hourglass, I highly recommend you try at least this. And these are the ambient lighting powders. And this is in the shade Dim Light. The other one is, I think it's in Diffuse. But I could be wrong. But, you guys, this will be the best thing you've ever came across. Like, you will never do your makeup the same. And you know who I recommend this to? Julie. Wago Warrior. I, if you've never tried the lighting powder, you have to. You have to try it. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, this is something that will change the way you do your makeup. How you look at your makeup. How... Like, it'll feel like you're missing. Like, some days you want to go matte, some days, but this gives a radiance to your skin. And especially if you have mature skin, because it helps, it it kind of has like a light, like a reflecting light to it. So, like, if you have wrinkles or you feel like you, you know, you, it kind of like reflects a light onto it and it like blurs it. It's really beautiful. So, highly recommend for you to try that. Anyways. I know I'm babbling a lot, you guys. I know that this is an hour long, but I don't mind it. Okay, if you're still here, thank you. I love you so much for supporting my channel and being here this long because I know it can be rough <laughs> to sit here for an hour. But if you have an hour, let's get lost into this video. <laughs> okay, so I said before, I picked up Natasha Denona. And I'm so glad with the color stories that I have picked out because I have picked out ones that are going to be used. So, as you guys know, if you don't know, then you can go down in my my videos and you'll see that I have the Natasha Denona um, Glam Palette and I also have the Bronze Palette. So, when I picked up the Glam Palette, I picked up the Bronze Palette. And the Bronze Palette is for warm, the people that like warm tones. The Glam Palette is the people that like the neutrals. The cool tones, the neutral looks, like, that's where you're directed to. And so, when I pick up a Natasha Denona um, Palette... I'm looking at versatility. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at for something that I'm going to use every day. Do I see myself using it every day as an everyday thing? And I'm not going to lie. I am tempted to pick up some of the different ones like that have different colors that have more color to them because that's something, another thing that I had strayed away from is color because in the very beginning of my channel, when I started my channel, I was very big into color. Like I would walk out with a green, neon green, <laughs> neon pink, like neon coral. That's what I would wear. Like, and I wasn't, I wasn't, how do you say it? Like, in, I wasn't uncomfortable with it. I was very comfortable with it. And then I got to a point, like, where I'm like, no, I think I'm going to be more subtle. I'm going to go into neutrals and, and colors that are, like, everyday and stuff like that. And so I got really comfortable and I actually really do enjoy them. So I picked up the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This actually launched this last year. And so this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Did I show you the packaging? Oh my gosh. Tell me I'm a bad YouTuber. Just kidding. I'm a makeup enthusiast. I love, I want to know everything about makeup and love everything about makeup. Like I love makeup. I just, I'm a makeup enthusiast is what I am. I'm not a makeup artist. I just makeup enthusiast, makeup reviewer. So anyways, this is the beautiful packaging. So it's like a soft pink, like a soft mauve pink is what this is. So, so excited to see this in person. Okay. And so when you open it, it has all the mauves. So this reminds me a lot of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. I feel like this is the amped up version of 2021. So Modern Renaissance goes way back. But for this day and time, I have not found a palette like this that I have seen on the market myself. I'm, I'm pretty sure Sigma has one. I think it's like the Corte Rosa. ABH just came out with one, the Prism palette. Um, but 
I'm so excited to try this because this is a romantic palette. This is something that gives me like romantic vibes, like especially for Valentine's Day. I'm very excited to try this one out. Um, and I've been searching in my collection, honest to God, I've been searching in my collection to go for a mauve burgundy, true burgundy, true mauve. And I cannot find anything in my palette that, like in my collection that is... That is filling that space, like filling that, I don't know how to say it. Like I'm craving a specific look. I'm craving a specific color story and I can't find it in my collection. It's very hard to get the look that I want. And if anything, it's going to be in the modern renaissance of what I'm looking for. But sometimes I feel like you have to be very, very gentle with ABH past um, eyeshadows because their powders are so soft. They're very, very pigmented, but very, very soft. And you can get muddy really, really fast. So you have to be very gentle, very soft, very patient. And so I'm excited to try the Natasha Denona because I love her formula. I have fallen in love with Natasha Denona's formula, um, especially her cream, to, her cream to powder. Like her powder, to, is it cream to powder? I think it's cream to powder. Cream to powder and her satins. Like her shimmers, I discovered, I've always been the type of girl that puts her shimmers on with her finger. And I've told you guys many, many times, like I feel like that's the most opaque capacity that you can get. And it's true because the warmth of your finger melts the shimmer and melts the metallics on your eyes. And if you want a bold look like that, then that's how you go. But with Natasha Denona, I've noticed that when I use the brush, it comes out more seamlessly. Like I, I wouldn't even be able to explain it to you until I show you guys. I'm so excited to create content, you guys, because I have a lot of stuff that I want to do content with. So I'm excited for that. So my first three palettes from Natasha, Natasha Denona and her her mid size palettes are sixty five dollars. Now she does have bigger palettes with bigger pans that are one hundred and twenty nine, and then she has her five pan palettes that are like fifty bucks for five. But I'm not gonna pay five. I'm not gonna pay fifty dollars for five pants. There's no freaking way. When I can get this one that has way more. What is it? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve shades for sixty-five dollars. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go this right route and go the sixty-five dollars. And I'm not gonna pay one hundred twenty-nine dollars for the same amount of shades, just bigger pants. So I'm glad that she did come up with this this size, and I'm thankful. But you know what I do want. And I told you whenever I did the glam palette, when I did when I am when I unboxed the glam palette and the bronze palette that I was gonna get the retro. I, I let you guys know ahead of time. But the next one that I really want her to do is greens. Like that would make my collection. And maybe a purple one too. Maybe. Just maybe. But if she comes out with a green palette, I'm totally on it. Like I want mossy greens, I want army greens, I want sea greens i want like sea green metallics i want mossy greens i want like that's what i want like ever like evergreen like that's that's what palette that like that's the kind of palette that i'm craving from her and from her formula that's what i want the last and final item in this box i think look at all these peanuts you guys <laughs> it goes way down in here yeah, I got everything. This is the last one. You guys, I'm so excited. You know that I still want a mothership and I'm gonna get me a mothership. Those suckers are $125. I'm not gonna pay $125, but I might just pay $100 for one, okay? So if it shows up on my channel, you know where it came from and you know how I, much I paid for it. Maybe I'll get it cheaper, but still. I'm still going to give me a mothership. That's going to be in my collection. And I do want to collect mother. I do want to collect Pat McGrath. So I do own two Pat McGraths right now. I own a six pan and I own a four pan. And the four pan is her Blitz Astros, which she is well known for her Blitz Astros. So when you purchase a mothership palette, which I do not own to show you and to reference to, but one day I will. I promise you that I will one day. Hopefully sooner than later. But anyways, I love her Blitz Astros. They are so sparkly. So I never used to like glitter on my face. <laughs> like 
like glitter on my hands like I cannot stand glitter because glitter gets everywhere but when I when I got introduced to it on my eyes and I finally said you know what I'm gonna try it on my eyes I'm gonna bite the bullet and just go for it and when I tried her formula it's so how do you say it it's so galactic like so I can't even tell you. It's like fireworks. Like, it's so sparkly. It's like a night sky. Like, the glitters just dance on your eyes. And they're not chunky glitters. Like, I do not like chunky glitters. But these are so beautiful. You guys, I have to show you. And I'm so excited to show you. But anyways, this is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey Artistry Palette. So, she did come out with one last year. This one, of course, was for 2021. This was this was the holiday palette. But she did come out with one for the year before, which was 2020. And it was purples, which I do want to get my hands on it, but it was limited edition. So I have to see if I come across it. And so here's this one. This is the packaging. This is so beautiful. Um, oh, wow. I was not expecting that. So I was not expecting for this to be this big. Oh, wow, that is so cool. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay. This, oh, so I, I've seen a lot of reviews on the last one, and the last one said that the packaging wasn't luxurious. So now this feels luxurious. This feels high quality. This feels, ooh, and it has a magnetic closure. I forgot. This one has a magnetic closure, so you can hear it. I, I want to get a mic, you guys, so that, um, but I really feel like Coco Melon is so loud. Anyways, so we have the protective on there and it has the ribbon so that it just doesn't fall. But at the same time, I kind of like, it's going to aggravate me that when I'm doing my makeup, maybe it won't, maybe it'll stay shut, but that's a kind of a bummer in a way. I wish it would have been a little bit longer, like just a little bit tad so that it would lean a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of hard to see, but at least this much so that it wouldn't fall but it would have a little bit more. So that's the only complaint that I do have about this. But anyways, let's get into this palette. Let me see if I can get it to show, but I haven't even looked at it, but I'm so excited. I kind of wish there was another purple in here. The only purple that they have in here is this lilac purple in here. So we have this green, like you see this green, I want greens and taupes inside that Natasha Denona palette. Like, that's what I'm craving from Natasha Denona is, like, the taupe. Oh, my gosh. Natasha Denona. It's, like, greens like this, taupes like this. You know, that's that's what I want. But we can't always get what we want sometimes unless you create it yourself. But these are so beautiful. So we only have, I think there's four mats in here. And the last one from, la from the, the year before this one, I want to say it only has two mats. That's it. So I gotta hurry up because baby's already waiting for me and I've been here for an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm so excited you guys to put this on my eyes and create. So that's all I have for this video you guys. Thank you so much for trooping hard with me and going this hour and almost an hour and a half with me. I'm so thankful for you guys. I cannot thank you enough for being here on my channel and being a subscriber. If you're new here, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I would love if you became of the Rays family and I hope to see you in the next one. You guys, I love you and I miss y'all so much and I'm so glad that I got to unbox this with you guys and I'm so excited for future content to create with you and the new beauty room, which I wanna hurry up and get done as fast as I can because I just cannot wait. I'm so impatient, like I'm ready, I'm ready. But. I love you all so very much and I hope you have an amazingly wonderful, beautiful day and I love you all so very much. See you in the next one. Thank you.